the biggest mistake of my life. 19-year-old Allie is talking about sexting, and it's something you've probably been hearing a lot about lately. Sexting. Sexting. If you've ever sent or received sexually provocative pics, you should know that there's a thin line between private flirtation and public humiliation. You wouldn't think that something could spread that far that fast. This is where I went to high school. In the beginning of high school, things were good. I got good grades. I had a lot of friends. I was popular. I had a boyfriend. And I was a really good girl. My sophomore year, me and my boyfriend broke up, and I was upset about it. Because when you're young, you think like, oh, I'm going to be with this person forever. One month after we broke up, he sent me a text message that he would get back together with me if I sent him a naked picture. Even though nearly everyone has heard of sexting, a lot of you aren't really sure what it is. Sexting isn't flirty talk or even dirty talk. Sexting is sending sexually explicit photos from your cell phone or computer. So when Allie's ex-boyfriend asked her to send him a naked photo, he was asking her to sext him. After the breakup, I was feeling rejected and extremely vulnerable. Having him ask me for the picture, it made me feel wanted again, even though it was completely out of character for me. He just said it. The picture getting out never crossed my mind. Once Ali sent the photo to her ex-boyfriend, the ball was in his court. He could forward, delete, or keep the photo to himself. But one in five sex recipients say they forwarded the images on to someone else. The next day was a cheerleading competition at the high school. And we were in the stands, and a kid was sitting behind us, and he pulled out his cell phone, and he was like, isn't this you in this picture? And that's when we realized he ended up sending it to everybody in his contact list.